there, old finger, just a little after 8.30, I'm getting better at this, I look, I'm actually prepared this time, so hi, old finger, how are you guys doing? If you'd like to get involved tonight, you can comment in the comments, funnily enough, or if you prefer, you can give us a call tonight. Uh, the number you need there is up in the description. It's 07874-055611. Why don't you give us a call, have a chat about anything whatsoever that uh, takes your fancy. So, as ever, I try and catch up with the technology as I go along here. Uh, I can see that some of you have already joined. And when I can catch up with the there we go, I can get to your comments now as well. Usual uh, problem with the sound on the equipment and music. Anyway, right, I'm good to go now. Even got my unbranded bottle of cola with me. Okay, okay. So, again, hi, how are you doing? Right, first off, uh, Chris and Joe are away in Cornwall at the moment. They're going to be away for a couple of weeks uh, down there, up there, over there, wherever it is. I don't know. Uh, so you'll be seeing a couple of lives off uh, those guys while they're on holiday. Chris has also asked me to tell you about his other page that he looks after. Uh, that's the page related to Cornwall called So Cornwall. Uh, I'm sure you'll find a link on the page to it. Uh, if not, just give it a search on Facebook and I'm sure it will pop up there for you to take a look at. Okay, so... Tonight is going to be as short or as long as it chooses to be, as normal, that depends on you guys. A um, couple of things I want to recap on first of all though. Uh, we mentioned a few days back about a Market Dave event coming up over the winter. Well, first of all, let me, there seems to be a little uh, misunderstanding about this. Let me just give you a brief rundown of what it's all about. It isn't an event in aid of Dave himself. The idea was that maybe a little, a little charity event raising money for what we weren't sure at the time. Um, it was Dave's themed with him being such an icon around Altrincham with his flat cap, and we imagined uh, a little race of sorts with people pushing a handcart round. Uh, and, however, some information has since come to light. And we're not sure where to go on that at the moment. It's, we're still thinking about it. So you might not hear so much about that over the next week or so. But we, we need to look into that a little further. So keep your eye on the page and we'll keep you updated about that. Uh, also on the page over the last couple of days. Uh, you, you may have seen uh, a competition that we're running. Uh, it was reposted today. So it's not too far down your feeds if you want to have a scroll. It's... A couple of tickets to see Warhorse at the Liverpool Empire on the 15th of November. You need to be able to get yourselves up to Liverpool if you'd like to see that. If you want to take part in the competition, the T's and C's as such are down there in a post from earlier on today. Uh, it's quite straightforward, basically liking and tagging and that's it, you're in. We'll be doing a live draw for the winner for that in a few weeks time. Uh, I think on this show, I'm not sure, we might make it a Sunday, we'll have to suck it and see. Uh, also, talking of Sunday, uh, did you join us on Sunday Just Gone? Well, if you did, you'd have probably seen that we have a new team member uh, with us now. Uh, a few of you joined us to say hi to Kate. Kate, Kate I can't remember whether you said preferred Kate or Katie, so I, I just call you Kate. It's, it, it makes life simpler, doesn't it? So, a reminder guys, you can comment, please comment away down there. Or give me a call, 07874 one. I'll be here until I get bored, which you know what a bloke's attention span is like, so that might not be too long, actually, tonight. Uh, particularly, given that I had a bit of a rough night last night, 6 o'clock I was still awake this morning. Um, is that an age thing? I, I don't know. Insomnia? Stress? I, I don't know. Uh, talking about stress, 
I don't think I'm going to talk too much on the mask off mental health uh, things I've been talking about this week. Um, I don't know, with a little time in hand, it, it's, we, we may come round to something like that, so otherwise I'm just going to sit here and waffle. You know, we heard from Chris Atkinson last week. Uh, I got some nice feedback uh, on messages about uh, that call with Chris on... It was World Mental Health Day, wasn't it? It was a Tuesday, so... So if you guys would like to get involved, like Chris did, give us a call, 07874... 055-611 Give us a call. There's only me here. I'm doing it all myself again. So, yeah, that's actually me through my notes again. I just wanted to point out those two things. I can see a few more of you have joined. Hi Chris, I can see you're there by the way, mate. How's the weather down there in Cornwall? Uh, so, uh, just to recap on what we started off with here, if you've only just joined us. So, uh, competition to see War Horse at the Liverpool Empire. Details, I love doing that, down there on the page. Um, they were reposted earlier this morning. You can win yourself two tickets to go and see War Horse at the Liverpool Empire. Uh, we're not providing transport, unfortunately. We're not that rich. But, if you want to go up the tickets, then please have a go. Um, as long as you can get yourself down there, we'll do the draw for those in a couple of weeks. Uh, Market Day, let me recap on that. Uh, some new information has come to light. We're not sure where to go on it. Keep your eye on the page and we'll keep you updated about that. Other than that, uh, it's come to the time where I just waffle a bit about whatever comes into my head. Once more, if you want to waffle with me, 07874 oh, old 611. Give me a call, have a chat about anything that you fancy. Have a whinge about the neighbours, have a whinge about the colour of the sun the other day. Whatever takes your fancy, I'm open to anything. These Wednesdays are yours as much as mine. Mm -hmm. And I just want to have a bit of fun while I'm doing it. So, there we are. Um, did you see on the page earlier on, uh, there may be a bowling alley, trampoline thing, imagey going on in Broadheath at the old B&Q building uh, soon. I know they were talking about uh, a trampoline place a little while back there, but uh, I think a bowling alley is a new one. I've not heard them mention a bowling alley on that site before. Also, I want to mention that site. We're going to be doing a, a video down Atlantic Street. A few people have asked us about that now. It seems that you're interested in how things have changed down Atlantic Street, particularly maybe for those of you that I know join us from overseas who, who used to live over here. Me comments have started happening, so thanks for joining in. Chris Atkinson, of course. Uh, wonder what happened to Market Dave's old handcart. Yeah, we do and all. We've, we have asked around about that. Wouldn't it be nice to see it in a window somewhere in the middle of Altrincham? Can't put it up on a plinth because some toe rag will have it away with it. But, yeah, in, in a shop window somewhere, an art gallery or something like that, where everybody can see it, that would be nice. We were talking about trying to find out um, where that had actually gone to. Also, the Woolworths clock, somebody has that in their possession. I know every time we post a Woolworths post, 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 it always goes down well. So, the Woolworths clock, it would be nice to see that back in Old Ringdale somewhere, because I certainly remember it from my childhood, which is many more years than I care to remember. Uh, yeah, so the Woolworths clock, Dave's cart, do, do you know where these things are? Uh, why don't we make it a project between us? Let's make it our mission to bring these things back to Old Ringdale where everybody can, can see them. I'd like to see that. So, okay, talking, yeah, Atlantic Street, yeah, we'll, we'll do that walk up and down uh, for people who do want to see that. Also, Altrincham, uh, I'm trying to think what else is coming up this week just for the sake of waffling for another five, ten minutes, I don't know. Toast is opening on Friday, isn't it? Uh, when I first heard about this place opening, I was told that the, I'm sure I read actually, that 
They serve everything on toast, including desserts. Mm. I got, first picture in my mind was a jelly on toast. I wouldn't actually mind trying that, to be honest. It's, I wonder if that's the sort of thing they do. So, I'd certainly be popping in at some point to have a see what, uh, what I'm missing out on that you can put on toast. I love the cheese on toast. Uh, are you going? Do you know any of the bizarre things that are putting on toast in there? Tell me about it. Marmite, that works with toast. About that thick. Oh, that's all you need. You're laughing. It, it's great stuff. So, what else is occurring in Old Um, I don't know. You tell me, guys. Tell me down here in the comments. Give us a call. What's bugging you about Old Tringham? 07 I won't bore you any longer than necessary, but uh, I do enjoy it when you guys get in touch and let's get a conversation going here. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Altrincham in Bloom. You may know that uh, the Altrincham in News team are on the committee of Altrincham in Bloom. They have an announcement coming up in the next month or so uh, as to whether they won the gold medal in the Britain in Bloom competition. Fingers crossed for that, um, we're relatively confident, it, it has to be said, that we'll, we'll do well. Uh, three times winner of the regional gold, nonetheless, altering them in bloom. Their activities, I guess, are slowing down now towards the end of the year with winter approaching. Uh, I know there's a little project going on to update the planters in the town centre and around town at the moment. Uh, some big news coming that I'm specifically not allowed to tell you about, but I'm sure Sarah Wormsley from our altering gun will take great pleasure in announcing that in her own good time. Uh, if you'd like to get involved with altering gun in bloom, then we're, we're always, always looking for volunteers. Excuse me, you have to give me some more of this. You can find them on Facebook, you can find them on Twitter, you can also contact them via our old Tringham. Uh, I think I say this email address almost every time, but it's important. The email address to make contact if you'd like to help out in any way there is sarahw at ouroldtringham.org. I'm sure she'll be pleased to hear you. I forgot what I picked that up for then. I know it's unprofessional, but hey, you know, these things happen. Uh, yeah, I'll in the room, watch out for, for what's happening there. So, okay guys, I think perhaps it's only been a short live tonight. I think perhaps I've said my thing. I, I will say again, watch out for more stuff from Kate, Katie, coming up on Altrincham News. She joined the team last week. Uh, if you've not uh, seen any videos yet, then she was here in, with us on this sofa on last Sunday's uh, live. So give it a look and join us again. I think she'll be joining us again on Sunday. Uh, I, I hope so. Uh, so give us a look and see what's happening. The next live here from Altrincham News. You will probably see a uh, live or two from Chris while he's down there in Cornwall with Joanne for a couple of weeks. Uh, I'll remind you again of something that Chris asked me to tell you guys about, and that's the So Cornwall page that Chris is also looking after. Uh, may be, he may have put a link to it down there on the page tonight, but if not, give it a search. I'm sure Facebook will understand what it is you're looking for. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So, other than that guys, I think I'm done. I'm going to get myself an early night because I really didn't have such a good one last night. So, watch out for the upcoming lives. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about, talk to me about on these Wednesdays, then let me know, get in touch with us on Altrincham News, or indeed, that's Altrincham. Still looking for help on both. 
But getting involved with this, let, let's see what we can do for Altrincham. Let, let's make winter a uh, full time in Altrincham and let's all, let, let's all have some fun and see if we can make it all worthwhile. So, guys, thank you for those of you who joined me tonight. Uh, maybe next time round we'll be able to take some calls, so you guys will give me a call. I'm going to persevere with Wednesdays for, for the time being, like it or not, so they, certainly until Chris gets back anyway. So, as I say, guys, I'm done. Thank you for watching tonight. Join us on Sunday. Watch out for the lives in between then. And um, I'll be back here on the sofa sometime soon. So take care, Andrew. See you later. Right